Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome to your daily read for Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. Let's do some shuffling and pull from the Prism Oracle deck and see what the overall energy or energies are for the day. So do remember this is uh, general for the day for all 12 signs. So simply take what resonates. But if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button. Of course, leave some comments or one down below. Don't know why I felt the need to mention that for this one. For Thursday. What do we have for Thursday? Staying away is what I'm hearing. Staying away. Confidence. Absolutely beautiful. Don't be surprised if you feel the need to wear sunglasses throughout this day. You're just feeling, okay, hot. You're feeling attractive, being complimented. People seeing you as somebody who's going places. It's a day where your overall confidence is shining for people to see on social media when you're strutting down the street or driving around town, around the city, uh, county, you name it. Um, but I feel like whatever enhances that confidence all the meanwhile needs to be implemented. You name it, okay? You name it. But I wouldn't be surprised if underneath it all there is some frustrations being highlighted highlighted as well. Okay, what won't fit, won't fit, okay? But I also feel like when it comes to where you live, where you work, um, who you're energetically tied to, what's just feeling like um, a bit of a force at certain points, okay? Um, I'm hearing trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Let's pull from the Mystic Mondays deck and see what we get for us. I feel like your clothing choices throughout this day speak upon the mindset that you're in or just what kind of day you're looking to see unravel. Interesting. Even the accessories. Um, but for whatever reason, I feel like there's this feeling about your individual energy being drawn to this reading where you want things to be neat, organized, laid out for oneself, clear mind uh, due to, um, and clear sight due to uh, a, a tidy environment um, and not feeling cluttered in either of the situations. Does that make sense? You don't want a cluttered mind, so, so therefore you're not going to um, add to or you'll make sure you have a... Um, environment that's lacking clutter bear with me but the ace of wands the queen of wands and the princess of cups and so i really do feel like it's a day where you're being reminded and shown evidence that you have a magical touch and there's a beginning that happened recently if not throughout this day that is leaving you feeling very passionate feeling invigorated feeling different seeing different results drawing in different people i feel the need to say um but i just feel as if there's an innocence about you that's being highlighted, but an experienced, knowledgeable way of being that's also being highlighted. Um, it's your connection to the stars and the moon that will feel quite relevant um, at certain points throughout the day. I want to say even in the, the middle of the day when the sunlight is out or just the weather is, the lighting's different. Anyways, um, magic will be in the air. So if you so choose to accept an option an opportunity to connect with somebody even if that's not you know in front of you and it's online or something of the sort or text messaging there's just a magical sense of luck in regards to connecting with them i'm meant to be sort of at least for this time feeling about whoever this is for you but i also feel like you're thinking about somebody who you didn't really move forward with in the past however that works for you even if it was just a friend option and why that is right or wondering if you made the right choice i just feel like your happiness needs to take a focus and you intuitively know that certain people place the situations they're not going to do it for you okay so don't okay don't overdo it that's not going to make you happy but don't again settle for or just move towards or stick with what isn't making you 1000 percent happy right bringing out the best um attributes of you i hope that was worded right the best um version of you we have the magician coming out and i really do feel as it's a day i feel as if it's a day where you're manifesting more than you realize and you are continuously or at least at one significant point reminded look you wanted this you manifested it so take a deep breath and recognize that what's meant to be will come to be when it's meant to um yeah it's this vibe where it's like if it was meant to be then it will just be period you can't force, again, that frustration card, what isn't meant to fit in one situation or stick with you.
period. And I also feel like people want to, it's like this vibe where you're reminded other people can't form or mold you into uh, what you aren't or who you aren't um, as you change and grow. But the Eight of Pentacles coming into play because I really do feel as if it's a day where your hard work is paying off, your creativity, your personality shining. I do sense that it's like this innate ability to do what you got to do, produce what you need to and put oneself out there without forcing it, right? So why does it at times feel like you kind of want to force it in other areas of your life? Like acquiring love or certain friends, but I just feel like you need to take a deep breath at a certain point when you experience something in the background being too much or you just want to sort of uh, I'm hearing pipe it down you want to control the noise level in a situation or just the energy because it feels if it's it's this vibe where you know where you can aim your control or desire for which throughout the day so just try to do that and ask oneself why do I feel the need to control things so much why is that I feel like it could stem back to a better understanding of the way you were raised or just the type of individual you've become over time, experiences you've had, um, your desire for, for, for perfection at times will come into play. And that, again, will be evident through your environment or just wanting the best quality for what you're producing and developing. But remember that at times, when, especially your work and um, conversations, imperfection, it can be a beautiful thing. It can be magical. So don't, as I'm drawn back to the Ace of Wands, so don't, don't fret, don't um, get annoyed with the imperfections or the small slip ups. Because I really do feel as if, again, there's a change in the air, a change in what you're doing, producing, developing, leaving you with abundance, leaving you with things feeling quite gratifying. And I feel like we spoke upon that to a certain extent in Wednesday's reading. But it just feels like with the Eight and the Seven of Pentacles, you are pushed to take a step back is what I'm hearing and examine your work, right, in a non-overthinking way, but in a realization kind of way. Uh, a realization that you're doing it and you're doing it well and you're doing it in a confident way, okay? Um, again, take a moment and look at what you're wearing. Why are you wearing that, okay? Why did you choose that today specifically? There's more to it than meets the eye, but I really do feel as if your alone time takes a highlight. Why are you feeling like spending time alone? But then almost immediately or just soon after you enter that alone time, um, or even step into a different environment to have that alone time or continue it, you then want connections. You want the comfort of connecting with somebody or you long for that perfect relationship or perfect friends or just for somebody to reach out um, or you wonder what somebody's up to. It just feels like you're needing to sort through, prioritize what manifestations mean the most to you at this time because it might feel like one day love is at the top of the list. The next your business success or your work success is at the top of the list there's a need to recognize that you're not going to be able to alter divine timing but at the same time it will help with your communication your that you're giving out to the universe to your spirit guides your intentions right um if you have a clear idea as to how the list looks for you okay um but i just feel like you're going to experience new levels of success throughout this day that just feels right for you along your path. It's this feeling once again with the Queen of Wands imagery, um, kind of that Captain Morgan pose, where you wanna put your foot down, but you're just not going to, or you know you just shouldn't, right? Um, don't rock the boat. Allow for oneself to recognize that you're blossoming through what you are working on, through what you um, are painting in one's mind. Interesting. So there's a, a need for your creativity to be put to use in regards to the vision for one's future of your business, of your future in general, the future of um, what connections you have in your life, right? And allow for oneself to recognize that that picture may be tweaked a bit moving forward as to in regards to what comes to be in your external reality. But it just feels like you're going to blossom, you're going to grow, and you're going to solidify in one's mind, at least to a certain extent, um, when it comes to that overall vision for oneself, right? Paint that picture is what I'm hearing. Paint that picture. Um, so yeah, your creativity taking a highlight in more than one, one way throughout this day, but it just feels like as well, 
There may be a time throughout the day, whether it's at home and the energy is a little rough or just at work, um, or when you're speaking to somebody specifically and you're pushed to just sail towards a very Six of Swords vibe, towards your alone time or towards something of comfort for oneself. It comes up in these daily reads often, but I really do feel as if you're being viewed as cute in certain ways, okay? Um, but a reminder in a larger sense when it comes to past changes in regards to pre for preparation for future changes, you got to do what's right for you. You got to do what's right for you as a soul. And therefore, uh, things will just fall into place as they're meant to. And even in other cases, fall apart as they're meant to, to make room, okay? To see things looking more ideal for you at this point along your path, given your changing, okay? What a wordy reading. But I feel like it's a day that reminds you things are falling into place and you again have that ability to manifest whatever you desire. But let's paint that picture in our mind so we can see our confident self living our best life. All right. So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your Thursday and I'll see you next time.